Hey, I'm Carson James, and this video is about being woke, <laughs> but it's about having your horse be woke. So basically, you don't want to wind up with a horse that just kind of plods and pluds around and never really gets some energy and some life and some effort and some try and some sharpness to him because that it's more about the mental attitude in the horse but that's actually that mental attitude is where the lightness comes from so you uh it's really important that even if even if you don't ever do anything that requires a horse to get kind of woke up and snappy it's important that you are able to draw the life up in him so i'm going to show you a couple things and just basically a way of riding to where if you do this a little bit every now and then your horse will get to where instead of just being lazy and plodding around everywhere you'll be able to get him to wake up and be alert and like have a yeah let's do this let's get it done kind of attitude so you'll see me use the end of my makati a lot you notice i don't have on spurs I'm using this makati end as kind of a spanker on either his left or his right hip depending on which way you're wanting to go or his shoulder is way more natural to teach them to be light and to wake up when you put a little energy when you use your body put, to put a little energy down into their feet. What has worked really good for me has been to not even use spurs. And the minute that I feel like, oh, I wish I had a spur right now because I feel like he's hanging on it, I just immediately jump to this. And it keeps me to where it's really, really easy to stay black and white with my legs, meaning I'm either going to be at one ounce or at 10 pounds. Okay, so I'm just going to get him walking around here a little bit. You notice my body, how I'm really kind of, I got some energy in my body, and I'm saying, let's go, let's go. Now watch, as I bring him around here kind of tight, I'm just going to tap lightly with my leg. Now I feel like he's kind of hanging a little bit there, so we go there. There, and when he puts some effort into it, and when he puts some try into it, see? So... I tapped him a couple times right there with my heel and he didn't really put energy into it. So that's when I came to that. And you'll probably see him this time when I start to tap him with my left heel here. There. So that felt really good. Right when I reached, he woke right up and he went. Let's check him out on asking him to go here. I'm just going to barely reach with my calves. On the count of three, one, two, three, take off. Good. See how I can just bring the life right up in him? And get out of here, buddy. Good. That's what you're kind of going for. Now, at the same time, it is also important that you balance out that kind of riding. We'll drop the reins here, and we'll just walk him around a little bit, and we'll bring him around here slow, but not dull. Then we'll walk out of here real soft and mellow. We should be able to drop the reins and have him continue to go around on a loose rein without trying to speed up all the time. But then at the same time, if I pick up and ask him to get a little bit, there, he'll come around. If I ask him to get around a little bit, he can wake up and do that. He walked out of the stop right there a little bit, so I'm just going to back him up for a minute here. And then we should be able to drop our reins, walk off real mellow. So it's about keeping it balanced. Now, if you have a horse, if you're watching this video and you say, man, if I tried to, if I tried to get my horse to put that much energy into something, 
he would just get really, really hot or he would go to bucking. We'll see, you have to work up to that, like the video gaining speed for safety's sake, that kind of stuff that's on the website. So um, it's important, you know, every, every now and then that you ride your horse in such a way where you ask him to say, come on, man, let's hustle a little bit. Come on, buddy, let's move those feet. Let's get around here a little. See how we can get down, see how we can get down really tight in these small circles? We'll say, keep hustling. Come on, buddy, hustle. Let's go, hustle, hustle. Get around, come on, hustle, hustle, hustle. There you go, let's go, let's go. Now get in here tighter, but you keep moving. You keep your butt moving. Don't you fall asleep on me. You stay awake. Good, now get out of there, get out of there. Let's go, let's go, get out. Remember, it's important that we're particular, that we ride these horses every now and then where we ask them to move out to loosen up their feet and loosen up their minds and be able to get to where they can handle a little bit of intensity like that. And you notice his expression, like he's pretty chill, he's pretty okay. You need to develop a horse in a way to where they become more and more mentally sound uh, the more you work with them. So. Uh, don't, under, don't underestimate the importance of getting on these horses and asking them to wake up a little bit. Wake up, let's go. You know, it's super important for a healthy mentality. And it's actually the, the deepest fundamental of where lightness comes from. It's really hard to take a blah, 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 blah type of personality and get lightness out of that. But if you can take a horse that's more of a, yeah, let's go, let's do this thing kind of personality. I'm ready, I'm woke, let's do it. It's real easy to get that horse to be really light. So think more about lightness as a mental state than a physical pressure state. Uh, so I hope that helps you guys out. Remember, get your horse woke. <laughs> hey, if you like this video and want to see more like it, you can become a Carson James Insider. Now, this is a brand new thing that we just started doing, and it's so new that I've got to use the cheat sheet to actually tell you what that is. So we are both going to learn together. So... As a Carson James Insider, you're going to get periodic text messages giving you elite access to new insider-only resources, exclusive offers, and invites to free live horse training sessions that are going to equip you with fresh how-to knowledge and skill to embolden your horsemanship journey. All this and much more free today, free forever. So to become a Carson James Insider, you can just go right here, right now. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.